Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. California is sweltering under dangerously high temperatures with the mercury set to rise to 117F and thousands of people evacuated as raging wildfires grip the state. The severe heat is only expected to get worse during the 4th of July holiday week for parts of the United States, with nearly 90 million people placed under heat alerts across the country. The torrid conditions have been caused by a ridge of high pressure just off the west coast and a separate ridge that spawned heat warnings and advisories from Kansas and Missouri to the Gulf Coast states according to the National Weather Service. California's capital, Sacramento, is under an excessive heat warning expected to last until Sunday night, with temperatures forecasted to reach between 105 degrees and 115 degrees, 40.5 and 46.1 Celsius. Meanwhile, Palm Springs is set to see 117F. The heat wave has created perfect conditions for wildfires, with red flag fire warnings issued across the state with pictures showing the blazes tearing through forests and homes leaving a trail of destruction. About 70 miles, 113 kilometers, north of Sacramento, crews have been working in scorching conditions to battling a wildfire in Butte County that forced the evacuation of about 13,000 people in and around Oroville. Hues of cars have been pictured as families rushed desperately to leave the area, with a striking image showing a woman running down a highway in her sandals against the orange haze. Meanwhile burnt-out cars have been mangled by the scorching flames, with one dramatic picture showing molten metal streaming off a car abandoned in the fire. The blaze, dubbed the Thompson Fire, broke out before noon yesterday and sent up a huge plume of smoke as it swiftly grew to more than 3 square miles, 7.7 .7 square kilometers, by evening, with zero containment. Firefighters lined roads, trying to keep the flames from reaching homes as helicopters dropped water on the fast-moving blaze. The governor's office announced late Tuesday that federal funding had been approved to help with firefighting efforts. Earlier this week, Governor Gavin Newsom activated the State Operations Center to coordinate California's response, dispatch mutual aid and support local communities as they respond to threats of wildfire and excessive heat. Smoke from the fires has been blown towards Sacramento, meteorologists have said, with hazy skies reportedly seen above the city. As the temperatures spiked in the state capital, Catherine Powers sought refuge in the shade of Cathedral Square. Powers, who is homeless, sipped sparkling water while resting her bare feet on the shaded sidewalk. Powers said she had loaned her shoes to a friend. She had not yet visited one of Sacramento County's nine cooling centers, she said, because of the difficulty in bringing all the possessions she carries. I'm just going to go to a park with a water fountain just to stay cool. Stay in the shade and just keep pouring water on me, basically, she said. There's not too much that I can do. Darlene Crumetti, who lives in Fairfield, said she doesn't use air conditioning because it's too expensive. I'm good, I have a hundred fans, she said, adding she tries to stay inside and drink cold water. An analysis has found that heat killed more than 2,300 people in the United States last year, a record. That figure is likely a major undercount. Dozens of experts told AP reporters. Dr. Arthur J., an emergency services physician with Sutter Health in Sacramento, told reporters that getting out of the heat is important, along with wearing a hat and loose clothes, hydration, and watching out for signs of heat stroke. With heat stroke, it looks like a stroke, J. said, describing symptoms that may include acting unusual, significant headaches, blurry vision, profuse sweating and then no sweating. And that's a really big deal, J. said. So we want to prevent them getting even close to heat stroke. California's heat was expected to spread from north to south over the week, with the worst of it focused on interior areas including the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys and the southern deserts. But warnings extended out to just short of the coast. San Francisco, famous for its cool summers, was expected to have a high Tuesday in the upper 80s, 31C, downtown but mid-60s, 18.3C, at Ocean Beach, forecasters said. The high-pressure dome will linger over California for at Leah.